What's up, fellas? I want to go over a couple things today about how I built over you know 20 inch arms naturally. And I want to go over this because when I first started, uh, my biceps were really underdeveloped compared to the rest of my you know muscle groups. And that was because when I went into the gym, you know, I got the idea that if I curled the most weight. I'd be so big and strong and my muscles would get so big but that was such a huge mistake I made only because I wasn't doing the exercises properly I was swinging the weight you know I wasn't flexing at the top I wasn't really focused on them and um, so what I started doing is I started you know putting the priority principle intact and that was after a rest day I would hit my arms because that's when the body's most fresh and I would do exercises but I would do them nice and slow and I would flex them so hard that you know they had no choice but to grow and when it comes down to you know heavier weights versus light weights uh, I think you need a little bit of both that's what Arnold said to do you need a balance of heavy weights and of moderate weights you know curling heavy weights every time you go in there that will get you the thickness but it's all about the reps to give you that you know definition and that true separation so what I started doing is I looked at my bicep and I said to myself you know what is the most lagging area of the bicep and for one it was my peak and my inner bicep alright my outer bicep was always pretty developed so I figured I'd start off the exercise with you know, I start off my workout with the exercise of the concentration curl, which is grabbing the dumbbell and like how Arnold does it, and you rest your arm on your leg and then you curl. And I would do that nice and slow with the, probably the 20 pound dumbbells for about two to three sets of 20 to 30 reps, squeezing nice and hard. And I did that first because when you do the exercise first, when the body's most fresh, it's going to respond the best. So, priority speaking, I put the concentration curl first, and then I did curls, but to the outside, holding you know wide grip. So it worked the inner part of my bicep, and then I did the outer bicep exercise last, which is also like concentration, uh, not concentration curls, close grip, you know, preacher curls, and um, that's what I pretty much did, and. They started to really grow and respond, you know, really fast. So if I were you and, you know, your biceps are lacking a little bit, you got to look at them and ask yourself, what area is lacking first? And then you're going to put the exercise to work that area first in the beginning of your workout. So if your peak is lacking first, do concentration curls first, nice and slow. If your outer bicep is, you know, lacking the most of your bicep, then you're going to do close grip, you know, curls first to work the outer head. And uh, I always, I always fluctuated between, you know, 12 to 15 sets, sometimes even 20 sets, depending on, you know, how I felt that day. So if I were you guys, I would have a balance of, you know, moderate weight and heavy weight. And it's always good to do a little bit of both and never, you know, do more than the other Always have a day where you do go heavy, always have a day where you go light, maybe go light for two weeks, then three weeks heavy. Just always find a balance so the bicep has, you know, the most perfect development you can get it to. That's it, guys.